Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's interesting. See, again, like, you end up having to talk to everyone and ask them about everything because you don't know when something might trigger something important for you. And this is the part of adventure games that... Well, I, I, I guess, like, all adventure games have a bit of that. Some worse than others, but it's just... You know, you're just trying stuff. You're just trying random stuff until you hit something. Which is not fun games. In, in Like, I would argue it's not good game design. Because there's no... You know, there's no clues, there's no puzzle, there's no logic, it's just you trying every single thing until something works. Which is not... You know, it's not smart. What can you tell me about this bull's head hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? And Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way. In any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxurious service? Not yet. No, I think I'll be hanging around the village for a while yet. As you desire, oh mister. Rest assured, however, that Ultar is ready to transport you to Bull's Head as quick as a lickety split. Yes. Maybe he's a Templar. Well, no, if he was, he wouldn't tell us that much information, so he's not a Templar. What do you think of this plaster? Not much there. Not enough to make tasteful garden gnome, for example. How about a really small garden gnome? <laughs> Altar not think so. <laughs> this is a key for lifting manhole covers. You carry some strange stuff with you, mister. Hmm. No way. What do you think Balls. of this ball? He's most... Blended, mister. Alright, let's... See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Let's see if there's anything else we can do around here. And talk... Look at him. The carpet seller looked craftier than the offspring of a fox and an insurance agent. You can see a staircase behind here. It's not very obvious, though. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Ah, uh, goo. What do you think of this? Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Yes. Well, no, it's not a lovely carpet. Shake my hand. Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes. Carpet, yes. No, it's not a carpet. Okay, bye. Salama. Uh, what's here? That's a really big door, by the way. I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Alright, time to get out of here. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Well, I still don't have any cash on me, American or otherwise. Oh, unfortunate, <laughs> most extreme. The delights of the Bull's Head Hill then must wait, I fear. Okay, I need money. See you around, money. Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Maybe I can scam those other two to come with us, except they're probably Templars, so... Let's talk to the boy first, or let's talk to the kebab guy first. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. Oh... Okay. What do you think by kebab? What do you make you by kebab? Does this no? Well, goodbye. Most toilet brush. How do I? Oh, let's talk to the kid. Maybe he can distract the guy long enough for us to get the toilet brush. 
Uh, or the cat? Or... Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? I met an interesting guy earlier, a cab driver. Ah, that would have to be Ulta, a barbaric sort of thing. <laughs> oh, he's not that bad. You know how he speaks in Pidgin English? That's how he speaks in Arabic too. <laughs> Funny. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. Nijo, this is serious. Arto stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant, and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight. A Rubicon spheroid of heavenly pleasure. You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? I've never heard anyone describe my balls like that before, but that's interesting. Alright, here you go. Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that. <laughs> Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize <laughs> this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il ach il kalb. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. Okay, I don't speak any Arabic, but I'm guessing that's not what the kid says it is. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. I don't know how many of you guys know any Arabic. I don't know enough to know what that says, that's for sure. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yeah. Um. Il akul kalb? Filthy. Bad, bad. <laughs> I'll kill you! Whoa! Calm down! I just. Feet, do your thing. I saw that coming. Wait, do I need to run faster? Oh, is he not coming after me? What if I go back? Oh, he's fine. Hi. Hello again, sir. Filthy! Bad! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going! <laughs> I'll have to look this up. I have to go to Google Translate. Oh, should, I, should I do it now? I don't... Oh, I don't have the... Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I I don't I don't have the spelling. Damn it. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll look it up. The next time I take a break, and then we'll see what that is. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience, patience. I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller. And you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary yes, tactic? Yes, dumbass. Your brush, sir. 
I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justify the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. <laughs> Thanks for getting the brush and risking my life to do it. Anytime. Glad to be of service. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Alright, so we're gonna give the toilet brush back to the guy, I guess. The, uh, the, the, the club owner. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. Right. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, Bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning in detergent before go around my U-Bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know. Oh, yes, indeedy. Right. Key on door, and what's inside the bathroom? Is there a pile of money? And there's a really big window to this toilet. It was a roller towel dispenser. Pull it. Okay. The mirror was as clean as anything else in there. Look at the ceiling. Even the toilet has this arched ceiling onto it. Okay. And I thought the French had strange toilets. It's a squat toilet. It's more hygienic, really. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Like, the thing with squat toilets is you don't actually sit on anything, you don't actually touch anything. The problem is you need some pretty powerful leg muscles to, you know, stay in place for an extended period of time as you're squatting. So... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oops. Good job, bro. Good job. It was the short length of chain I'd taken from the toilet of the Club Alamut. Well, chains usually come in handy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, though. I still don't have money, so let's go back and talk to the tourists. Or maybe he'll transport me, now that he can use the bathroom? Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah! What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? <laughs> Nejo told me to say it to Arto. <laughs> and Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah, how did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. I said he was using dog food? Oh, okay. No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. Ugh. Uh, dogs. Okay, never mind. Should I? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Look, I've got the keys to the toilet. Is this life goal thing I read in GQ? Yes. What does this toilet chain mean to you? You got brush back so you could steal chain? You sure strange cookie, mister, yes? Yes. Well, I still don't have any cash on me. I'm oh! Did Okay, so we're not See you around, Meg. going until we have cash. Let's talk to the tourists. Maybe they'll share the cab ride with me. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Try to pull a bunko. What's that sound? Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? 
Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. We can take the cab together, if you want. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. What's that sound? Oh, it's the kid playing with the ball. Okay. Is he seriously not talking? Oh! I see what's gonna happen. Well, actually, no, I didn't see that was gonna happen. I hadn't come all cat bell and the cat's gone interesting the fall hadn't done the statuette much good it had lost its arms and gotten pretty chipped. Fail. I thought the kid was gonna hit his father on the head with the 